Number 14, stall personal property exemption. There's a good picture on, do we have the papers on it, David? Uh, sure. Yeah, we're the next one right after that, should we? Um, <coughs> right there, there you go. Did I miss it? Um, no, that's it, and there's another one after that, but you, you, if you like pie charts, <coughs> it's a pie chart. If you, want a, a, if you want a spreadsheet, the next one's a spreadsheet, but essentially they all say the same thing. In fact, though, if you can go to the other one for a second, just one more slide down. Okay, so basically what this does, it, it exempts and from personal property, sending out any mailing for anything less than $2,500. Right, $2, um, overall, this represents, uh, reduces our revenue by only 1 20th of 1% or $8,000 um, out of a total value collected of 18 million. And this is 22% of the accounts. So in terms of, and, 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 right, and some of these are, are as low as 44 cents, right? So it's less than the stamp and then you've got to record it. And then if they don't pay it, there's a lien for 45 cents that you know is on there for 20 years. And no one, including the Department of Revenue, can get that taken away. So what this really does is it gets rid of that category, reducing uh, the bureaucratic burden and reducing the burden on the on the taxpayers as well, while not really materially changing um, our, our revenue stream or anything like that. So again, this is a uh, this is from a cost benefit analysis. It costs more to collect this than it does to uh, uh, well, it costs more to collect it than, than it's worth. Question. Okay. 